In times of crisis, such as the mass shootings in Tucson, Americans turn to their president for reassurance. I ask all Americans to join me and Michelle in keeping all the victims and their families, uh, including Gabby, in our thoughts and prayers. Crises demand the right word, the right tone. Sometimes all the president has to do is recognize the public's grief. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye and slipped the surly bonds of earth to touch the face of God. At other times, such as after the September 11th attacks, it's the anger that resonates best. I can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people, and the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Even so, every word a president speaks is still political. I've got a hot vice, get them back! Especially in times of strife. Bill Clinton described the motives of the suspects in the Oklahoma City bombing this way. They are forces that threaten our common peace, our freedom, our way of life. Let us teach our children that the God of comfort is also the God of righteousness. And in 2009, with anti-Muslim feeling on the rise in the U.S., President Obama focused not on the Muslim American suspect in the Fort Hood shootings, but on the soldiers who were killed in the massacre. In an age of self selfishness, they embody responsibility. In an era of division, they call upon us to come together. The challenge now for Barack Obama is to figure out how to comfort a nation after the Tucson shootings, while using his position to address what many have suggested is to blame the increasingly violent political discourse in the U.S. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.